Why, hello there. Today I'm going to show you how to create a bundle and how to upload your own documents to that bundle. So if you want to just, it's a little bit complicated, but follow along and you will get it. Now first I'm going to make sure that my Word document is exactly how I want it because that's the kind of file I'm going to be uploading today. So I'm going to call this one test document and I'm going to go ahead and save it to my computer because that's what you would be doing. So I'm going to go to test document and save. I'm going to go back to my big campus. Now in order to upload Word documents to my big campus you're going to first have to create a bundle. This is how I figured it out the best way for me. So for example if you're working on your portfolio and let's just create a bundle for a portfolio here. I'm going to call this test portfolio. And I believe all I need to create this test portfolio or to create this would be this and some cover art. So I'll just choose a file here. Um, this looks good. Motivational quote. Okay. Save my bundle. Okay. So if I go to my bundles on the top here, test portfolio shows up. I'm going to click on this. Just checking that it works. This is what it looks like so far. Notice that picture. Uh -huh. If you think reading is boring, you're doing it wrong. Love that. Okay, anyways, go up here to edit bundle. And then we're going to go to content. Now, as you can see, there's not a whole lot to choose from. And if I searched for the document in my stuff, these are the places you can search to get documents or other things to put into a bundle. Right now I don't even have my document uploaded so the first thing I need to do is go back to home. Say OK to leave this page because I haven't done anything that's worthwhile saving. And then I'm going to go to your stuff. Alright, I need to add a file. I'm going to click here to upload files. Now I'm going to go to my desktop and I'm going to search for my document called Test Portfolio. Test document, sorry, here it is. So I'm going to open it. And there it is. Now I have it checked right here. It automatically checks right after you upload it. I'm going to add to bundle. I'm going to add to test portfolio. The selected items have been added to the bundle. Okay. So I'm going to go back to bundles to make sure it's there. Clicking on my bundles going back to test portfolio and there is my document. Now if I wanted to write something and it shows up in content I can insert text above this. Below is my test document. Scroll down, done editing and then I can go, oops, I forgot to save it so I'm going to stay on this page. Save bundle. I'm going to go ahead and view this. Now it's okay to leave the page. And you can see what I type below is my test document. If I were to open this, I can download the file. And then open it and there's my test document. So that's how you get documents into a bundle in order to have me view them and to keep the format in your font all in the same spot. Now the way that you can, I believe you'll be able to share the bundle. So now you have the document in the right place, now it's just a matter of sharing. So if this is my bundle and I click on share, it says copy and paste the embedded code above. So let's say I need to, so I'm going to control C to copy, close, I'm going to go back to home, then maybe I go into conversations, create new message. Here, maybe I say click on this link to see my test document. Control V to paste. And I send to teacher. Obviously, 
<laughs> That's cute. Um, obviously, you would type in my name there to send me the link to your document. So if you have any questions on this, I know it can be a little bit tricky because it's involving quite a few steps, be sure to let me know. Otherwise, be sure to play around with it, do some problem solving, and I look forward to reading your documents.